A California man flipping the script on some squatters by squatting in the same house. Scott, squatting is when somebody takes over your property and they don't have the legal right to. It's a problem cropping up across the nation. Homeowners in Texas, Illinois, New York, I'm sure in California, recently making headlines because they can't get squatters out of their house. And it can be a long and costly legal battle. In fact, some, in some cases, it's like the person's in the house and you can do nothing about it. But Flash Shelton, he got innovative. He found a way to get him out of his mom's vacant California home without involving the court. Flash, first of all, I love your name. Uh, thank you. Good morning, Major. Good morning to you. Okay, so you actually found out about the squatters. First, first, how did you find out about the squatters? Did your mom tell you? Did your neighbors tell you? Um, first, uh, the um, neighbors, the neighbors kind of reached out and said that, you know, there's, they saw some activity there and, uh, so I called the police and, and they confirmed, the, the realtor also um, confirmed that there was you know, a house full of furniture uh, and that was how I first found out. But this home was empty? Was your mom's property completely empty? Yeah, my father had passed away. Um, I'm sorry. I moved my mom in with me uh, and, we, and the house was vacant on the market to sell. Okay, and you live in Nevada. I live in California. You live in California. Okay, I have this article that says you're from Nevada, but yeah. I believe you, not the article. You actually squatted in your mama's house with the squatters? Yeah, that was the intention. What, how, do you, how do you squat in your own family's home? I, I don't understand. What did you do? Sit on their couch? Sit on their face? What, I, what do you do? <laughs> I just waited for them to vacate so that I figured if they could take a home, I could take a home. But, and, what, uh, no, but what do you do? Like... Do you like camp in there with a sleeping bag? Like, do you stare them down while they're watching TV? Yeah, it didn't come to that. Um, you know, as soon as I went in, they they weren't going to go in. I gave them the option to uh, take their furniture and go. Um, I had a lease. I had keys. I had utility bills. So if I'm in the house and they try to get in, I can defend my house. So once they left, if they were, if they didn't leave, then I would have been in the house with them. But as they try to come back in, I can defend my home at that point. I can report an intruder. I have a broken in back door from them. I can call the police. And, and at that point, um, the, the police have no jurisdiction to kick me out of the house either. So all they would have to tell them is basically they can, uh, you know, they can, uh, take me to small to, to court and make a civil action against me. But I would believe that most squatters would just um, move on. Um, you know, they want they want, you know, somebody weak. They, you know, like a bully, they're not going to go after somebody who fights back. So. so so this was this a lady and she moved in with all her furniture and was she alone or did she have a family? So she on the video called it her crew. Her it was crew. it was lady and several men it was a it was a group of people there okay. were three cars in the driveway um and yeah. you weren't scared you know the anticipation not knowing because at the time i didn't know who i was dealing with when i made the drive i, I didn't know who was in the house but you were just ready to face it you were ready to just do what it took yeah i was ready regardless of what it was you know you, you just have to plan for the worst and i think that you know, the anticipation, you're a little bit nervous. You got that gut, you know, th that feeling in your gut. But when you get there and you're doing it, at the moment I'm walking in the front door, the, the adrenaline's going and it's just, you just do it. And you went in there, You they were gone when you actually showed up. And then when they arrived to come back in the vacant house or what they thought was vacant, they found you and you said, get out. And the end is on YouTube, because I guess you posted, you have this uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I, what is the name? Uh, United Handyman Association on YouTube. And people can watch all of this. I love yes. it. I'm, I'm so happy for you and your family and for your mom, because I'm sure this brought her a lot of peace for you and you going down and handling business, Flash. So Flash Shelton, handyman and superhero. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.